Brand, and today we're going to make chicken and dumplings. This is a one pot meal and it's amazingly easy and it's quite fast. The ingredients for this dish are a chicken, carrots, celery, onions, I'm going to add a little parsley but that's optional, and then the biscuits. We have salt, baking powder, sugar, flour, half and half, and butter. I'm using chicken in the bag today. This is the best chicken at the grocery store because it was on sale. This chicken is only like $4 on sale for 79 cents a pound. Okay, so cut off the top of your bag with your scissors and then you're going to slit it up the back. So slide the bag off. Now that's trash. Don't be scared of the pink juices. It's not going to bite you. Put water in your chicken and now there's goodies in there. There's a surprise. So you have to be brave, go in deep. This is the neck. Okay, here's the liver. Now, this is for Kitty. This is <laughs> half a gizzard. I got gypped. Great, and now we just rinse it. And into the pot he goes. Now we're gonna cover him with water. I put the neck and the gizzard in. That's gonna give it a little extra flavor. But I don't put the liver in. For the liver, I'm going to put a little water into my microwave for about one minute and kitty cat gets a treat today. So when that water covers your chicken, turn off the water. That's all you need. So turn your pot on high and I'm adding three bay leaves to it. The base of this recipe is classic chicken soup. So if you don't want to do the dumplings, you'll know how to start your chicken soup. Hey. It's a twofer today. <laughs> so while our chicken is boiling, we're going to cut our vegetables up. I have peeled five carrots. I like to do these vertical slices because if I were to give my kids a big old bite of carrot like this, they would reject it. So I've learned as a mom, I want them to eat their vegetables and if I make it too hard for them to pick it out, they just eat them. That's about two cups all together. Now my trick for celery is I wash the whole thing, I open it up, stick it under the water, and then if the stalks are really big, I'll do again that long vertical cut. And then I take everything and like dice it by cutting it the other way. I want the same amount of all three of these vegetables, the celery, the carrots, and the onion. And so I eyeball it, more or less, and then cut your onion. This is how I do it. I cut both ends off, then down the center, peel that skin off, do a vertical cut, and careful on this way, and then the cross hatch. And we have nice little pieces that are gonna get translucent, you'll never see them in the soup, and their kids will eat it. I have to smuggle vegetables in to get my kids to eat them. The onions and the carrots give that chicken broth a really sweet flavor. You're adding in two onions all together. The same quantity of your carrots and of your celery. The common parsley in America is called curled parsley. So you're gonna chop about three tablespoons, four tablespoons of that. It's totally optional. It was easy for me to get because I was in the store and I knew I was making this. But I typically don't have this in my refrigerator. That's about the right amount. So now we're gonna make our dumplings. I have two cups of all-purpose flour. To that we're gonna add one tablespoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, three quarter cup, half and half, and one stick, which is one half a cup of butter. And I'm gonna cut this into little cubes and I'm gonna add it in our flour mixture for our dumplings. This is a classic biscuit recipe. I have done dumplings many different ways. This is the fastest and it's delicious and it does many things at the same time. It makes your broth thick and then it also adds that beautiful wet biscuit, the dumpling. It has some air in it so it's light and fluffy and that's what that baking powder does. So some classic recipes of dumplings are rolled out and thin and that's just not my favorite, this is. And I'll tell you, it's about an hour faster to make it this way. I've done the timing and the math on that. I'm always for reaching that finish line as fast as possible because I'm a busy person. I've got kids, I've got things to do, and I love to cook. So we mix that up. 
<laughs> and when it looks safe to put your hands in it to finish the job, when it's not so wet, yeah, mush. Now, if you have kids, bring them in the kitchen for this part. They will love it. So stick your hand in there and mush it up. You want that butter to permeate all of your dumplings. It'll turn into a little ball of dough. By encouraging your kids to cook with you, they will form a love of cooking that'll last them their whole life and it promotes self-care. Because my job as a parent is to get my kids as independent as possible, as fast as possible, in a happy way. I always hope for the happy way. <laughs> Voila! <laughs> now this pot has been on high for 20 minutes. I'm gonna check it for boil. Look at that. That's what it should look like. There are those bay leaves. And when it comes to that boil, I'm gonna turn it down to medium. I'm gonna let it cook for about an hour. This chicken's been boiling an hour. We're gonna take him out of the pot and we're gonna let him cool because I'm gonna debone him. We can tell it's done because it's just falling apart. That's a good sign. And to start the cooling process, I'm just kind of digging in and pulling things apart because I want it to cool faster so I can get to my bowl of chicken and dumpling soup. <laughs> there we go. This chicken has been cooling an hour now, so I'm gonna debone it. But while I debone it, I'm gonna cook my vegetables and start getting them soft in that broth. I'm gonna have my temperature on high again until it comes to a rapid boil, and then it's gonna go back down on medium. So let's get the meat off those chicken bones. Okay, now that's gonna be trash. I don't want the skins in it. And just pull it off, it's so easy to do. It doesn't take very long at all, but your hands are really gonna be in this process. This is one of those comfort dishes. On a cold winter's day, this is the best thing to make in your kitchen because it takes some time. So if you have some paperwork, some bills to do, or some house cleaning, start a pot of chicken and dumplings and ask your friends over for dinner. Over the years, cooking for my kids, making those one pot dinners were such a great time saver for me. This is a great dish as well for a leftover chicken. You don't need to start with a fresh uncooked chicken. Take a rotisserie chicken and use that. And in that case, if the chicken's already cooked, then you just peel the meat off and you cook the bones for an hour. The bones have so much flavor. That took me five minutes to do, that's it. Now this broth and this chicken are gonna go back into my pot. That's a very large quantity of chicken. That's gonna feed my family for about two days. Oh, that looks great. To that quantity of stock, I'm adding one tablespoon of salt and a little bit of black pepper. Now, that's gonna be coming to a boil. Okay, the thriftiness of my personality comes out as I put these chicken bones in the Ziploc bag for another time. Now I'm gonna freeze this until I have another need for some chicken broth homemade from my kitchen. So that water's boiling now. I'm gonna put my dumplings in. Those vegetables have been boiling in that water for about 10 minutes. So now it's time to put our dumplings in. Because they go fast, I make them kind of small because my kids will just take a whole plate of dumplings. So I wanna make sure they get some of the broth too. So I take about the size of a teaspoon and I roll up my little dumplings and I plop them in that boiling water. And quickly they rise to the top. Don't squish them too hard when you're rolling them because you want all that air in them. You want them soft and light and fluffy. <laughs> now, do not stir it up, resist the temptation because that's gonna break up your dumplings. You're gonna put your lid on and you're gonna cook it for 30 minutes. Because it's at a raging boil now, I'm turning my stove down to medium and I'm going to wait. <laughs> it's been 30 minutes. Those dumplings are done. Now just toss your parsley in it. How pretty is that? And stir it up gently. You don't want to break apart your dumplings. Wow, time to serve that up. Ooh, look at all that chicken in there. Oh my gosh. That's going to serve your army for quite a while. The kitchen has been smelling so great all day long with this cooking on the stove. Okay, let's cut them in half and get a bite of a little dumpling and the broth. Mmm. That is fantastic. Those dumplings are so light and fluffy. It's delicious. So make this for your family and some friends because it's a big batch. Cheers.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>